What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Uh, this uh, story right here takes place in Upland, California. And it's about a little five-year-old, little black boy, you know, um, in school. He's a kindergarten, just throwing a tantrum, acting up, you know. Um, the pol I mean, the, the teacher actually felt the need to call the police, you know. Now, to me, that's a bit overboard, you know, but I guess it's really just overboard. You know, I think what, what she really, what the, the cop, I mean, the uh, teacher should have did was call the parents, you know, but let's get into the video and then I'll get my commentary. Upland school because of the behavior of a kindergartner. Now the child's mother wants to know why didn't the school call her first? And she talked to our Inland Empire Bureau Chief Rob McMillan. He is very smart. He's bright. He's curious. And like a lot of kindergartners, five-year-old Kyler has plenty of hobbies. He likes to paint, has his favorite colors, and wants to be a policeman. Or at least until what happened to him last week at Foothill Knolls Elementary School in Upland. He is a young African-American male and the police being called on him, that hurt me as a mother. Jenny Kimball says kindergarten started out just fine. Hey, welcome to kindergarten. <laughs> but then Kyler started getting into trouble. He's gotten frustrated. He had struck another kid. Then came the incident last Tuesday. He, it escalated to where Kyler got upset, um, started flipping desks, throwing chairs. She even shot this video on her cell phone. He destroyed the classroom. I was told that this went on for 45 minutes. During our interview, Kyler asked his mom if he could draw a picture of the classroom for me, which he did. Tell me what this is. The window broken. That's right. He even threw a chair at a window. In fairness, you say the class was turned upside down. Yes. And it was 45 minutes of what sounds like mayhem. Yes. But what upset her, the fact that the school called the cops. Now, when he sees the police, he says, oh, there's the police. Do you see that police right there? Am I going to be arrested? And now he's telling people, he said, the police came to my school, but I didn't go to jail. The school district gave us this statement, which read in part, in this case, the resource officer went to the school's office after receiving a call of a potential incident. At no time did he speak with the student. He was there to provide support if necessary. Kyler says the officer did say something to him. When we was about to leave, he said, make sure to be good. And what'd you say? Okay. Kimball says she still wonders why the district had to call police. Not being able to handle a five-year-old, I find that very, very difficult. Okay, uh, it looks like to me there's a couple problems here. First of all, look, Kyler, he needs some man training, okay? He needs um, a father around, father figure to show him boundaries okay number one you know looks like kyler is doing some things in public that he's getting away with at home doing you know evidently you know uh kyler might be too much for miss kimball to handle see for him to be out here you know in a school or anywhere else throwing temper tantrums and, and knocking over tables and uh you know, breaking windows and, and, and all that kind of stuff, you know, that needs to be put in check. He needs to understand, no, this is not how you do, you know. And uh, it's a blessing that even though the dumbass teacher called the police instead of calling the mother, it's a blessing that the police didn't come out there and overact. You understand what I mean? You know, it really is. But, uh, uh, I don't really agree with um, the teacher calling the police. I really don't. I really do believe that the teacher should have uh, 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 um, got the little fellow and sit him down, you know, um, and uh, 
took him to the office or something and called his mom. Or his, I'm going to say his parents because it should be a man and a woman. But I guess the teacher must have felt like they was between a rock and a hard place with everything that's going on. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe they just didn't want to touch the child. But I know I can say this. for On the real, Kyler needs some discipline. He's a young little fella. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, evidently, his mama can't give him the discipline that he needs, you know, from a man. And he's a very, you know, cute little bright little fella. You can just tell, you know, he's very intelligent. You know, I can tell by looking at him in the eye, especially when he was uh, doing his little paintings and stuff and looking at his papers. He's very intelligent. But the mother, I mean, and, and whoever, where are the fathers, I don't know, but he needs to be in his life. If he can be, if he can be, if he's around, you know, and uh, he needs to be taught boundaries. He needs to be, you know, get some man training, some man discipline. You know, that's what he needs. But uh, y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. Uh, I think it's a sticky situation, but I, on the real though, I think they better get Kyler in the check while before it's too late. Uh, y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And this is James, and I'm out. Peace.